Hello, I'm Leah Scott Price, and I am a comic book author. And this is a Q&A about my writing, my comic book series, and my characters. This is my favorite one. What makes your vampire guardian angels serial killers? To me, they are the perfect serial killer and vampire in my comic book series. They are brutal, vicious, merciless, terrifying vampires. And they are a hybrid of guardian angel and vampire. And uh, they become serial killers in the series. And what makes them serial killers is that they can only target the people who believe in them, who call to them for help. And they answer prayers by putting people out of their misery. And they make a meal out of them. And they do things that no one ever expects a guardian angel to do. So because everyone thinks that they are good, they can stalk humans and not be suspect. These are angels with serious psychological and homicidal issues. They prefer to get rid of humans who they see as weak. So here's a little background on these angels. To them, heaven is kind of like one big broken home filled with abandoned former humans. It's like a holy halfway house for souls that have become angels where suffering and martyrdom are, are glamorized or required if you want to earn your place in paradise. And instead of finding peace, these angels are put to work saving humans. And if the angels don't conform to their jobs, of course, they're cast down or cast out. They were killed or martyred on Earth, so you have resentful, traumatized, angry, and rebellious angels. They're forced to become therapists and bodyguards to humans, and as a result, they grow to resent humans. <laughs> They resent their jobs of having to protect humans. It's like giving a murderous, paranoid, schizophrenic a job of being a babysitter. So now they want to rule over humans instead of serve them. So after these guardian angels were bitten by vampires, and you have to read the comic book series to find out how, they became serial killers. They use charm, hypnosis, and seduction and pretend to care and trick their victims into thinking that they are there to save them. But these angels no longer have empathy for humans and no guilt, so they see it as their right to perform mercy killings and they want to now follow their own rules. They want to target and shut up the humans who whine the most just so they don't have to answer these prayers anymore because there are millions of humans and millions of prayers and they can't keep up. And so they try to put them out of their misery instead of trying to constantly solve their problems. And they actually now enjoy being vampires. But even if they became these all-powerful supernatural monsters, they are still angels. And it's in their nature to have to answer prayers. But it's also to their advantage because the prayers act as a homing device or as a beacon to their victims. So when you pray in vain to one or you pray out of despair, the angels hear you and that's how they target you but it has to be a prayer of despair. They can't target you if it's a thankful, joyful prayer. And once they come, you can't really kill them like you could a traditional vampire. They are pretty much immune to stakes through the heart, holy water, crosses, or sunlight, and especially anything holy because they are celestial. They are angels. They sleep in churches. They're disguised as the life-size angel statues. As in the pre previous video, I explained that when I was a child, I used to see these life-size angel statues, and that's what inspired me. So they are disguised as those life-size angel statues, and they hide in churches. So never, ever, ever be alone in a church at night. 
So you better pray that there are still good angels out there, or one that has turned back to good from being evil, because that's the only thing that will save you, and the only thing that can kill an evil, serial-killing vampire guardian angel is a good angel. But if you don't believe in them, then you can't summon them. If you don't pray in vain, then you don't summon them. But, you know, you could still try to hide from them. Just don't reveal your location by praying specifically to them. And in the comic books, I wanted these angels to look human so they blend in. And they appear as helpful strangers with irresistible characteristics, such as charm, seductiveness, and helpfulness. But in reality, they are serial-killing psychopaths. What's scary is that they look just like everyone else. Please like and subscribe to my videos and watch my Vampire Guardian Angels films and animation. And please check out my work at patreon.com backslash Price, where I have my comic book series, my novels, and my drawing lessons and tips, and my writing tips, and Q&A, and facts about my Vampire Guardian Angels characters. Thanks for watching.